coming coming out during the summer, like most people said, I couldn't shoot. Like I wasn't a consistent shooter, so I worked on shooting a lot. Like coming up here every morning, every night, getting up like 100 to 500 shots a night, and trying to make it. And I got more consistent. So last night, it just felt like I was out there working out, like just hitting shots. And now, now I feel like I like my game's getting a little complete, but I gotta keep working because I I know that if I settle, then some people out there working going out outdo me. So I gotta keep working. Um, shooting nine for a living is not, it didn't surprise me because I know I can do it any given night, but you know, it's just that I was shocked that I actually went out there and did it for a whole game. Like usually I'll score 30 and then won't do nothing in the second half. So this is my first time actually having a complete game. So I was proud of myself for that. I mean, I think there'll be a, a big thing going into next year because you know, a lot of teams now like to, instead of laying the ball up and dunking, they like to pull up for a fast break. So, you know, having me and Tyler on the wing will be a, be a threat because, you know, both of us can shoot. So they come out there, I can drive and dunk or they can kick the Tyler and stuff like that. So I think it'll be a big factor. Um, I think Memphis could be really dangerous, you know, because Trenton, he's a great player. Like he, he can dribble the ball. He can do pretty much everything. James can do pretty much everything. Boogie can do pretty much everything. I can, Malcolm can. Like, I think it'll be, it'll be a good addition to what Tyler, Alo, and Ryan and Jaden already got there. So I think we could fit in and be a tournament team. I'm still be hungry because, you know, like I still got a lot to prove because, you know, people just going to say just because I made the college, like they're going to be like, I ain't do nothing with my life. So my biggest dream is to make it to the NBA and prove all the people that said I couldn't make it without Kyle Perry wrong. So it's really my biggest dream. Um, I wouldn't say that it was frustrating. I'll, I'll say that it gave me a chip on my shoulder to go out there and get want to get my game better because before I decommitted, like I was content with myself, like I didn't. I wasn't working out, I wasn't trying to better myself. So I think I needed that to give me a extra lift. And now I'm glad that I did it because, you know, now I got a chip and I got a why to why I want to be better. And I'm trying to prove them wrong every night. So scoring 51 was one of the, one of those things that I wanted to do to show them that I am that. How do I follow up? Um, just go out there with the same ego to kill everything. Just go out there and try to, hopefully, tomorrow I'll try to score 40 or 50. I mean, going in, people saying that I didn't have a motor, like, it's just because I was inconsistent. Like, one game I have a good game, then another game I'll have a, like, I wouldn't be there. So, I always had my motor, it's just that I was never consistent. So, now I feel like I'm being more consistent. So, if I keep being consistent, then they won't have a knock on me. So, I can just keep working on my game, keep improving on the little stuff, and hopefully be a great, great player that I can be. I go in just thinking to kill everything because I feel like that I'm the best player out there on the court side, so just gonna go out there and show it. Well, I really ain't got no message for him, but <laughs> just know we play ever play on there, it's gonna be the same result as Duke. <laughs> That's all I got to say. No, he didn't. <laughs> no, he didn't.